So I'm Kathy Romanino, and this is my daughter, Robin. When she started high school, um, we hadn't been very many places, and so I decided as a single parent, it was hard to try and travel or do things in our lives. And all of a sudden, she hit high school, and I realized I only had four years left, and I didn't want all of her memories of her growing up being of us struggling. So I decided that we were going to try and get to all 50 states before she graduated. So we kind of started, we'd been to six states before then, and that was just to visit family and do stuff like that. And um, for my parents' 50th wedding anniversary, we went to Alaska on a cruise. So as we went to Alaska, and then a few months after that, we went to Texas, and then it just snowballed into every time she was out on break, we started traveling places and we tried to travel places that were like off season so that it wasn't as expensive and we could keep on going. One of the first big road trips we did was with a friend of mine. She was going to visit her granddaughter in Idaho and she was looking, she lives here in Bishop and she was looking for someone to go um, with her and she didn't want to make the drive by herself with uh, Debbie Sessions. And so Deb, we talked to Debbie and I said, I've known her for years and I'm like, hey, let's do a road trip. So Robin and I got in the car with her and we drove to Idaho and then we went to Grand Teton and we went to Yellowstone, which was absolutely spectacular. And then we, n none of us had ever been to Mount Rushmore and always wanted to do it. So we Mount got in Rushmore the car is so small. and we kept on driving and we went to Mount Rushmore as well. So Debbie got us started on our first road trip. We had to spend the night and do something memorable in each place. Uh, zip lining, uh, parasailing, we've all done all sorts of crazy stuff. We've, we, it could be like sometimes we went on a kitschy um, landmark on Route 66, like in Oklahoma we visited this blue whale or a national park. So all those things counted as something memorable. Um, I think some of the ones, my favorite ones are like of national parks. For instance, one trip we did all the national parks in Utah. So we hiked up in Arches, we hiked up to Delicate Arch, and so we have a picture from up there. So we had some pretty amazing photos along the way, and both of us really like to take pictures. So again, national parks, I'd say, were some of my favorites. My personal favorite national park would probably be um, Isle Royale. It's a little tiny island out in the middle of Lake Michigan. And when we were there, there was hardly anyone there. It was off season. And um, I got to attend like a lecture about exploding pants, which I found fascinating. And then I really like to take photos of like smaller things, like the flowers and fungi and different small things. And the um, landscape there was just so like lush that I really had a lot of fun taking photos there. <laughs> There's moose and um, uh, wolves on the island. It's right up towards the Canadian border. It was unbelievable. The first time we ever saw a moose was in um, Rocky Mountain National Park. And so they said, oh, you probably won't see very many. There's a limited number in the park. And with it, we were there for 15 minutes before we saw our first moose. She also almost hit a buffalo because... <laughs> We were driving down this road in Wyoming. Yeah, and Theodore Roosevelt yeah, National Theodore Park. Yeah, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And my mom's like, look at that big bird. It was like a what, like a pheasant or something. I don't know. It was, it was this huge bird. But she was like focused on this bird on the side of the road. I'm like, mom, you're about to hit the buffalo in the <laughs> middle of the road. <laughs> when, we, when I was seven, we moved to California from uh, Buffalo, New York. And we made that drive in three days. We never stopped at the Grand Canyon. We never stopped and saw anything because we were in a hurry to get out. So to be able to have that luxury and, and do some of the things we did was pretty amazing. I think the biggest takeaway, I mean, that we live in a beautiful country and you don't need to go to Europe to see um, the amazing things that we have here. And again, we're so lucky to have our national parks. And a lot of times when we would go to the parks, it was mostly older people and not families. And it's like, get out, get into the parks where there's no cell phone service, there's none of that, and really have that time to connect and be away from home and not worry about the kitchen needing to be cleaned or other things, laundry needing to be done, and just spend quality time together. I think that was one of the most amazing things for me. I think um, just surprising, kind of like she said, that there's such a vast amount of diversity within our country, you know, without having to go very far or even out of continent. 
I think anyone can do it. Um, you can ask Robin. It takes a lot of planning. Um, pretty much this is her hobby. hobby for the last four and a half years. And um, part of the thing is just knowing what to do, um, like airfare. You know, we traveled a lot on Southwest Airlines, and Southwest has a policy where if you buy a ticket and that ticket goes down any time between the time you purchase it and up until you go, you can get a refund for that ticket and use it on another fare. So I would watch that a lot. I'd book a ticket and then sometimes like we went to um, Santa Fe, New Mexico and we only paid like $70 round trip because I kept watching the fares. So it's knowing to watch the fares and um, if you really wanna get something done, do the planning because if you don't sit down and do your research ahead of time on what you want to see while you're there um, and and all of that then you're not going to get it done so I used Groupon I used Expedia I I started to learn that if you stay in the ho same hotel chain all the time and get the rewards we probably got like a month worth of free hotel rooms from between all the travels so things like that um, are important to know and anybody could do it. I mean, for instance, we went to New Orleans for four days and it was $500 because um, we traveled with some other people. So we shared the cost of the room. We got $100 round trip airfare. Um, so it's just knowing what's out there and taking advantage of it and anyone could do it. But it's extreme couponing travel edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, as a parent of a teenager, the older your kids get and the, the less time they want to spend with you and the more time they want to spend on their phone and uh, with their friends, that, you know, get out there, get on a road trip with them, and that's how you reconnect.